I'm Chris and this is my 280Z timing chain, the three marks on the gear, chain stretch, all that stuff explained video. So I've only owned this car for a month, so I don't know everything about them, but here's what I know so far. So when I was taking this engine apart, I put the balancer on zero, top dead center. Let's check that out. So whenever you're messing around with your engine like this, you always want number one cylinder on top dead center on the compression. And if you notice on this crank, our key is at 12 o'clock at top dead center so that's how you want to pretty much just have it while you work on it okay so on your crank that keyway straight up at 12 o'clock is top dead center for the number one piston the highest point the number one piston can go your crank only has one top dead center for number one and it'll be on zero just like that and if you took this off and threw it away you're an idiot so if our key is up or top dead center and if our cam looks like that on a factory engine we're at top dead center of compression. The way we know that is look, both valves are off of the cam. Okay. If you're on zero on your timing mark, both cam lobes on number one will be off and you're on top dead center at your compression stroke. If you're taking your engine apart, set it just like that. Now, I'm not sure if they all have different color links. They call that the plated link. Notice how it's on the center. You can go ahead and paint that if you don't have color links. And then we're gonna come down here on the crank. You can barely see the dot. Paint your link if it's not a different color plated material. And you do see the little dot or mark on the crankshaft gear right there. So the next super confusing thing is this right here. Those little marks, what the heck does that even mean? It really confuses you because it says before adjustment. So it makes you think that yours before it's adjusted it should look like that so this engine was rebuilt about 20 years ago but it wasn't driven very much and look at our mark in there so that little notch is on the cam hold down plate so, so your little cam hold down it's got that little dot right there make sure that dot is towards the top so our cam gear notch is to the right of the plate notch so we look at that and that's showing the cam gear to the left of the notch and that's why it's confusing because it makes you think before adjustment well what the heck mine's out of adjustment so what that picture is showing you is what a loose timing chain would look like the groove would actually be to the left of the notch and you see on this one it was rebuilt our groove is to the right of the notch so if you're working on an engine or got it all apart you're going to have to rotate your engine at least one revolution to the right because you want to pull the slack out of that chain and if your mark on your cam gear is to the left of the notch and the hold down plate like that then you want to make your one two three adjustment so i had to come film this because it's not really showing up in the video we saw the little factory cam plate with a little notch so my engine was rebuilt 20 years ago and lightly driven so as we approach zero on the balancer i'm going to say like 80 times in this video my cam lined up with the mark about right there this is the notch in the cam gear that's indicating that our chain is new or in good shape. In the book, it shows the notch over here, meaning that the chain is stretched. So if your chain was really stretched and trash, your mark would be showing up right here. So the one position is gonna put it kind of where mine is. The two position is gonna rotate the cam four degrees forward. Okay, so let's say you crank yours up and just like the book, your notch is behind the mark. So whenever you put it at number two position, you're gonna rotate the cam four degrees forward to take the slack up in the chain. If we cranked it right there and then we moved it to number two, it's gonna relocate our mark to like right there. So if we're rolling ours and, and our mark ends up right there, that means our chain is super loose. We should replace it. But if we put it to number three, it's gonna move our cam forward eight degrees. So it should be about right there. So the idea is that this cam gear mark should be somewhere right around there. And the more to the right, it's gonna be advancing the cam, and to the left, it's gonna be retarding the cam. Okay, so to make it simple and clear, when you put your balancer mark on zero, you want that groove of the cam gear somewhere in the range of the plate. And if it's coming up right here, you need to go ahead and put it on number two, and if your mark is coming up back here, go ahead and put it on number three, but do number two first. And then once you put it on number two, it should bring the mark up and advance the cam four degrees, giving you 
something like that that's the best i can explain you just gotta watch this video over until you get it okay so every tooth on this gear is 8.18 degrees so if our cam was loose you can't just take the chain off and put it back one notch so what they're doing here is they're giving you two four degree sections right here so right here this is stock ours is good so we don't have to adjust it we are going to put it on number two and see what it's going to do it's probably going to bring our cam gear up that way even more so the whole time during this video the crank is staying at 12 o'clock with the key up top dead center zero no matter what so then you've come in here and you've looked in that little window and your cam gear is to the left of the notch like that then you're going to want to make the first adjustment to number two so let's go over that procedure so the crank pulley does not move don't mess with that the key is perfectly straight up on zero we're going to say that like 50 times in this video you're going to loosen your cam gear this procedure is designed to be done in the car make sure your chain's not going to fall in there we're going to put this industrial chain catcher get your cam gear out okay so i saw that tool for this and i thought it was a joke okay, so if you're doing this job on that car you need that tool to hold the chain because when it just fell it did get off the mark on the crank okay so we took it off with one you're gonna rotate at 90 degrees where two's at the top and now you're gonna get that white painted link right there on that two so obviously you're gonna start by trying to get the white link on two like that so I'm trying to hold this up and we actually slipped a link off our mark at the bottom. So this can easily go wrong if you don't have a secure way to hold the chain. And then this just goes back and it should just pop right back in. Okay. So honestly, if I was gonna do this on a car, I would have to pull this cover off. You got plenty of room on that Z. Just go ahead and do it. Hopefully you don't break any bolts off. We did slip off of that mark two times while I was trying to hold the chain up. We're back on that mark with the painted link. You come back up here. Now we have the painted link in the two. Two is straight up and down. And remember our little mark, it should be over to the right now. So now our little notch on the cam should be over to the right. And there you go. So I hope you understand that this is not a procedure that you do when you think your car has less power than it used to. There is a mark on there that you look so you can physically see that your chain is stretched, okay? Balancer on zero, has to be exactly on zero. And we put it on two, you see it moved it that way four degrees. So what does that even mean? So the piston is fixed to the crank, you can't change that. The distributor is fixed to the crank drive. So it's getting its fire, boom, 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 boom. So the crank and the piston are in sync. So if that chain stretches, then our valves are getting out of sync just a little bit. So there's gonna be a delay when they come in. So in fact, if your chain is stretched, it is going to affect the performance of your engine. How much, I don't know. But you see, they put this little system in here to give you a little bit if your chain does stretch. So let's go ahead and put it on three and it's gonna move it even more to the right. Lesson in this video, if you're doing this on the car, you're gonna to have to have that little wedge tool block of wood whatever it is because your chain will come off the bottom crank for sure guaranteed so now we're moving to three to twelve o'clock and we're putting the painted link on three so keep in mind if it's moving the cam forward we need to turn the engine back just a little bit so i hope that makes sense we're moving the cam forward four degrees so you need to turn the crank back four degrees for that to, to snap in and would you look at that that notches over that way now eight degrees so now we're at a total of eight degrees. We've advanced the cam for a super loose chain. Ours is perfect, so let's put it back on one. So just remember to keep the tension on that side, keep it tight. I did not forget this piece. I'm taking this back off and I gotta torque everything. All right, well, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.